Hello, my fourth grade friends, and welcome back. This is Unit 1, Lesson 2. Um, in this lesson, we're going to start using our secret code cards to do some place value stuff. Um, and we're going to take another look at this place value chart that we kind of drew out the other day. And then we're going to talk about the different forms of numbers. And that's going to be it for this lesson. And then you can show me what you've learned in our Think Central activity, OK? All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna carefully rip out this page. So when I'm ripping pages out of here, I'm holding this book securely. I'm pulling with my hand kind of at an angle. Being gentle, I don't wanna rip down the middle. If you do, you can just tape it together. It's not a big deal, but I'm trying to be careful. Then you're going to carefully take some scissors. These are adult scissors, hopefully you have kids scissors, and you're going to cut along these dashed lines making sure to not mess up these words on the back, okay? I'm gonna cut mine out, and uh, you don't need to watch me cut it out, but you can cut your own out. So pause here, and then uh, hit play when you're ready, okay? All right, everybody, so welcome back. I've cut out my cards. Um, I noticed that it seems like they printed a little bit off. It's not a huge deal. Nothing to stress about. It's going to be fine. So I have grouped mine by uh, place value. So I have my thousands, my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. They're not perfectly in order because they're just the way they fell when I cut them. But I'm going to sort of make a little section to the side of my book so I can use them. Okay. And these are something we're going to have accessible to us for this whole unit and for the rest of your life, if you'd like. Um, so you probably want to get like a Ziploc baggie or something like that to store lost because it's a bummer if you're trying to build a number and you're missing that one. Okay, so um, here on this page, we have like a little table to sort of help us conceptualize these different place values. Um, one thing to keep in mind, whenever you see money, like if you see like $53.25, um, this dot right here is called a decimal, and the decimal is always right to the edge of the ones place, okay? So that's usually like center of when you're building numbers either greater or smaller in place value but the decimal is the middle so you're always gonna have your one get your ones place right up to the decimal point and then later when we get into um like tenths tenth the th and hundredths that are smaller than one those will be on the other side of that decimal there okay so just keep that in mind and here we have you know you can have like one one dollar ten dollars hundred dollars a thousand dollars a thousand dollar bill I didn't think there was a thousand dollar there's not a thousand dollar bill so I don't know why they put that there yeah I don't think we I mean in America I don't think we have a thousand dollar bill but maybe in the future maybe they're having some wishful thinking okay so you can use these place value cards to position thousands hundreds tens and ones but these are only going to work if you're lining up the ones place on all of them. If you start stacking them like that, the whole thing doesn't work. So you have to make sure they all line up with the ones place on the right edge and everything else behind it, you know, on that edge right there like that, okay? So these are a tool that are available to you. It's also helpful when you're thinking about expanded form. Is this number 1,985 can be broken up like this, or here, let me move my chair, for expanded form like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side. You're welcome to use these whenever you feel like it. And we're gonna take a look at this next page over here. So we're talking about different 
forms of our numbers. There's standard form. That's just like regular number form, the, the form you're probably most used to at this point. There's word form. In third grade and second grade, you might have heard this as the number name. So we'll add that in there. That's like the spelled out version with letters. Um, and just like before, we'll put a comma after our thousand. And then there's expanded form, which I talked about a moment ago. That's when you take each place um, and have zeros in the other places and form an addition problem going from the largest place value to smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? So we're going to just dip our toes into it and get used to practicing putting forms, putting numbers in different forms. So read and write each number in expanded form. So 73 would just be 70 plus 3. All right, um, 108, and you'll notice I said 108. It's really common for people to say something like 108, but that can be confusing if people are like, wait, do you mean 108? Like if you're <laughs> listing off numbers, um, or it can also be confusing when we talk about um, some numbers with decimals. So we're not gonna say 108, we're gonna say 108. 100 plus 8. There's no tens in that one, so it would also be mathematically acceptable to say 100 plus 0 plus 8 if there is some circumstance where you needed to indicate specifically that there are 0 tens. All right, next one we got 5,000 plus 600 plus. 20 plus 1. Now, if you're feeling pretty good about this, go ahead, pause, do these next three on your own, stop here, and then uh, hit play when you're ready to keep going. If you want to stay with me, that's fine. Here we go, we got 4,000 oops, plus 300 plus 50. And if you wanted to, you could say plus 0. It's like you can if you want or you don't have to. Right here we got eight in the thousands place, so eight thousand. Zero hundreds, I'm just gonna do plus zero right there. Plus eighty plus three. All right, last one on this section. One thousand plus zero hundreds plus zero tens plus six. All right, now we're gonna go turn these things from expanded form into standard form. So just regular number looking numbers, all right? 40 plus three, 43. 200 plus 60 plus one, 261. Feeling good about this, go ahead and go on your own. Stop here and then hit play when you're ready, okay? 905, 900, 900 plus 5, 9, 1,000 plus 70 plus 9, so 1,000, 0 in the hundreds place because there's no hundreds, 79, okay, 5,000 plus 30, so 5,000, 0 hundreds, 3 tens, 0 ones, 5,030. 900 plus, or sorry, 9,000 plus 800 plus 4, 9,000, 800, 0 in the tens place, and 4 in the ones place. Okay. Now we're looking at putting these in word form. So it's also important that you can spell out numbers when you need to. So we'll do these together. So 400, F O U. H U N P R E D 41 F O R T Y hyphen O N E. And we put a hyphen in between um, most of the time when there's a tens place and ones place. We don't do that with teens because it's just one word. The next one 1 
thousand T H O U S A N E one thousand fifty. And you'll note we don't say one thousand and fifty, we just say one thousand fifty. Uh, now we're putting these number names or word form numbers into standard form. 35, 305, 6008, oh, I got my comma there, 6000, 0, 0, 100, 0, 10, and 8, 6108, 6100, no 10. All right, now we're writing the name of the, or the value of that number. So you could say seven, five, six, but we know that that five, because it's in the tens place, is 50. We know that this four is not just four, it's in the thousands place, so it's four thousand, that's right. That's the value of that four. That's what that four is worth. This five is not just a regular five. It's in the hundreds place, so it is five hundred. All right, you guys, we did it. We finished another lesson, so give yourself a big old smiley face and uh, go ahead and complete that activity in Think Central. All right, catch you next time. Bye-bye.